You know, I did a video about swimmers and ballerinas, and I got a lot of messages like, Josh, you can't get out the pool yet. I'm like, I did a video about rowing and crew. They say, Josh, you cannot get out the pool yet. I say, why I gotta get back in the pool? They say, you gotta talk about synchronized swimmers. <laughs> yes, I wanna talk about the underwater goddesses. Five reasons synchronized swimmers need they flowers right now. Five. Number one, I can't hold my breath now. <gasps> Synchronized swimmers do it forever. Now, when we think about synchronized swimming, let's be honest, all we think about is a bunch of people in a pool moving in units at the same time. Number one, that is false. Number two, that's falsified. Number three, that's falsifato. That ain't falsifato ain't even a word. Synchronized swimmer training pools six to eight hours a day. That's eight hours of being in the water. And being in that water, you gotta learn to hold your breath, hold your nostril. You put me in a bathtub full of water, I'm fighting for my life right now. The mental strength that you got to possess to be a synchronized swimmer is on a planet on a level that I've never heard of. Flip me upside down right now and I'm going to lose my mind. You mean to tell me you want me to get in a pool full of water, flip me upside down, hold my breath and not know what's going on up above me? Synchronized swimming was made for the gods. For the goddesses and gods. Number two, you got to have the mental capacity of a goddess to want to be a synchronized swimmer. I don't care what you say. I don't care what y'all try to tell me. Imagine being a five or a six year old going to class on show and tell and telling them, I want to hold my breath underwater forever. I want to stay in the pool and try to float in water for eight to 10 hours. I don't know what it's going to become of, but that's what I want to do with my life. Why, little Johnny and little Sarah saying she want to be a nurse and little Johnny want to be a firefighter. You want to be a synchronized swimmer. You are strong. You are automatically a level 29 Pokemon card. You a Pikachu mixed with a Ferrari. Added to an 804 credit score. Y'all mental capacity is biblical, I tell you. Biblical. Number three, synchronized swimmers. Do it for the love. NBA players paid extremely well. NFL players paid extremely well. Soccer players paid extremely well. Synchronized swimmers and divers, they hope and they pray to make it to the Olympics where they can receive endorsements. Imagine picking a career, a sport, falling in love with a sport where you may never witness that these other athletes run into throughout their career. You are training to be an Olympian. You are training to be on a Mount Rushmore somewhere. Your your hopes and dreams are in that bank. Your hopes and your dreams are in the sky. Your hope and your dreams are in the minds of others. You hope and you wish to be a living testimony and inspiration to those to never give up. Everything you do don't have to have a monetary end at the road. Sink with nine swimmers. They deserve their flowers now. Number four, hail to the queens that have to avoid and ignore being overly sexualized while trying to remain sexy for themselves. This reason to me could have been the iceberg of this entire video. These individuals know they're being objectified by some people. These individuals know what they have to wear to be in the uh, swimming pool. These individuals have to go to the store, get waterproof makeup, put specialized gel in their hair so they stuff stays together and they're being judged not only by their body movements and their organization and their in syncness, but they're also being judged by the way they are outfitted and they look alike and they know when they step out that pool, a towel boy is not ready available and they know some people might think nasty thoughts, but not only do they stay strong and they practice strength mentally, they know who they are and they know they are in physical peak condition so they know what comes with it. And although they may want to waver in their demeanor, they remain professional, they remain strong and they remain firm in their sport, in their beliefs. Thank you, beautiful people, for remaining beautiful in all instances of the synchronized swimming community. And number five, the physical demand that synchronized swimming put on your body. Now, I'm going to take my glasses off for this reason, bruh. In order to become a synchronized swimmer, your lungs got to be the size of 45 Winn-Dixie bags. That's a lot of Winn-Dixie bags. In order to be a synchronized swimmer, you got to be able to weight train, crossfit, Pilates, and yoga. In order to be a synchronized swimmer, their warm-up is 30 minutes. Before they even get in that pool, they do 30 minutes of stretching. Then when they get in that pool, they got to wade in that water for about an hour just to get right. And then they got to go through the synchronizing. And then they got to learn to swim on their own. And then they got to diet. I ain't talking about 
regular diet. I ain't talking about lettuce and tomatoes and crispy chicken salads. Oh my. I'm talking about just diet. Like, can you eat that? I don't know why I'm thinking about eating that. Thinking about eating that got me feeling full. To every synchronized swimmer, I wish I had black roses and white roses and yellow roses and pink roses and red roses for you. This video is my permanent undying flower to everybody that's committed to that swimming pool. Thank you. Thank you so much for being you. Yeah.